charged with the responsibility of supervising almost 170,000 offenders. State probation officers work every day to ensure the safety of our communities. Uniquely positioned to promote community protection and offender rehabilitation, probation officers help offenders who stand at a crossroads in their lives, holding them accountable while helping with the services and resources they need to successfully complete their supervision. I always knew that I was going to work in public safety and I was already always kind of drawn to it and uh, I didn't want to be a cop and I didn't want to be a CEO, you know, just being on the street, being able to be part counselor, part law enforcement officer, you know, it's, it's a great thing. You have correction officers that watch offenders, inmates while they're in the prisons, but we're the guardians that are actually out in the community. Probation is giving the offenders a second chance to do their time in the community, but we're the ones out there making sure that they're doing it correctly and trying to keep the public safe. Ensuring compliance with the conditions of supervision is the primary role of a probation officer. Working alongside the state court system, community partners, and local law enforcement, probation officers help offenders navigate community supervision by closely supervising their actions through mandatory office visits and random home and work visitations. Other duties of a probation officer include counseling and assessing offenders' needs. This is done by creating individualized supervision plans specific to each offender, as well as monitoring offender compliance with court orders. Probation officers also play a role in fostering community partnerships. Working with local organizations and businesses, probation officers help offenders find opportunities for work, skilled training, and treatment services. It's very important for employers throughout our community to employ our offenders to help them become successful again. You want to help them to reintegrate back into the community where they come from. You don't want them to feel like strangers in the place that they live. So our job is to help them feel like they're a part of the community. Sometimes, even with the best of intentions, offenders find themselves back in trouble whether it be a technical violation or something more serious. When this happens, probation officers work with the courts to help guide officials to make decisions based on an offender's situation, history, and Florida law. They prepare sentencing investigations, request modifications, and report on non-compliance. We have kind of a multifaceted role in the court. Even after they've been adjudicated and are placed on, probation, we continue to have direct involvement with the court in terms of reporting behavior, both good and bad. Probation officers will be in front of a judge in the courtroom uh, testifying to violations of probation. Um, if the offenders are complying with the conditions of supervision, um, that is, it is something that probation officers do frequently. We're basically an extension of the court enforcing the actions that the court ordered to be done. Probation officers are important in the courtroom because they will be testifying to the conditions of supervision that offenders are complying with or not complying with. In addition to required office visits and random home inspections, sometimes it's necessary for probation officers to work in collaboration with other state and local law enforcement agencies, assisting in warrant arrests and the monitoring of individuals suspected of reoffending. Being a state probation officer takes heart, a good education, and great training. Recruits start out their career in a 14-week academy while receiving full-time salary and accommodations, as well as a host of other benefits to include meals, mileage, equipment, and the cost of the state certification. I have seen in law enforcement where it's hard for somebody to get the treatment that they need. As a probation officer, you have more room to get them the referrals and the treatment they need to help them successfully go back into their communities. I think a lot of them are uh, not inherently evil people. They just uh, need some leadership, maybe some guidance, and uh, hoping to hopefully do that for some, some of them. I've actually been with the Department of Corrections for 16 years now. Um, I've been on the administrative side, and um, I wanted to have more of an impact so I felt like becoming an officer would give me the opportunity that I needed to be able to have an impact on those that came in. The minimum qualification to become a state probation officer, hold a bachelor's degree from an accredited college, be a citizen of the United States, no prior criminal history, make a positive difference in people's lives, 
visit fldocjobs.com and find out more about how you can make an impact as a state probation officer with the Department of Corrections. State Probation Officers, Florida's Silent Service.